is documents in the cloud. So if I'm on my iPad and I create a pages document, right? I create a pages document and it automatically uploads it and stores it in the cloud when I close that document, completely automatically. And it then pushes it to all the devices that I have pages on. So I can get the document between my devices. And we have put that into pages, numbers, and Keynote. As a matter of fact, the versions we just released last week have this in there. And to demonstrate what this is like with iWork, I'd love to invite Roger Rosner, who's our VP of iWork up, to give us a quick demo. Thank you, Steve. All right, let's take a look at how iWork and iCloud will work together. Let's say you're working on a keynote presentation on your iPad, making a beautiful presentation with all those awesome keynote graphic effects and animations. But you're away from home. You didn't bring your iPad with you. And you run into somebody who wants to see your presentation. Well, the good news is, last week, we shipped iWork for iPhone. And even better, for anybody who bought uh, an iWork app for your iPad, you can download that app for your iPhone at no additional charge. So let's fire up Keynote on this phone. This is the first time we've run it here, so it's going to say hi. And then it's going to say, do you want to use iCloud? We say yes. And immediately, it sees all your Keynote presentations that you've been working on in the cloud and starts to download them in the background to your iPhone. So I'll open this one we were just looking at. And as you can see, it's all there. I even remembered what slide we were looking at. And if I want to, I can just hit play, play it right on my iPhone. And I put exactly zero effort into getting that file over here. Pretty neat. Of course, all the iWork apps use iCloud. So let's take a look at pages. And you know, imagine you're out and you, uh, you're inspired to make some changes to a document you've been working on. So I'm going to move this graphic over here. Maybe I just took a photograph that I think would be great to spruce up my cover page. So I'll go to my camera roll, insert my graphic, use alignment guides to place it, and I'm done. And I, I stick the phone in my pocket and I forget about it. And uh, in the background, iCloud is grabbing all those changes and then immediately pushing them back down to my iPad. So when I get home, pick up the iPad, fire up pages, you can see in the upper left, my document thumbnail's already been updated. <laughs> and there are all my edits, absolutely no effort on my part. And that is how iWork works with iCloud. I think you're going to like it. Thank you. Thanks, Roger. And documents in the cloud really completes our iOS document storage story, too. In other words, a lot of us have been working for 10 years to get rid of the file system so the user didn't have to worry about it. When you try to teach, teach somebody how to use a Mac, the easiest of all computers to use. Everything's going along fine until you hit the file system, and then difficulty is staggering for most people. So we've made it on the iOS devices to where you don't ever have to think about it. The app manages the presentation of its own documents, just like mail manages the presentation of its own messages. But the piece that we weren't finished with was how do we move those documents around to different devices? And documents in the cloud solves that problem for us. Apps can store documents in iCloud. iCloud pushes those documents to a user's devices automatically. The documents update on all devices when changed on any device. And we are releasing 
APIs for all of you. So it's really easy to tie your apps into iCloud's storage system. And again, you can have complex documents, apps like Pages, or we've got another storage facility for key value data. So as an example, if you've got an app that just tracks stocks, you can just update the key value pairs, and we'll store that in the cloud as well. So documents and key value data works across all iOS devices and Macs and PCs too. So we think this is going to be pretty big, and that is documents in the cloud.